Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mystery Channel 33. I am Tatiana. I'm here to help solve missing women, shooting and men cases. We are here to break the code. I am here to break the codes if I see any. I am here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And I'm also here to see they alive, deceased, body suited, change your ethnic to see or miss identity. Your already should know who's involved, so let's begin. This is titled, Decap County Woman Sentenced to Prison for Deadly Shooting Father of Her Child. Okay, this is about my son, Lil Tim, okay? Um, same thing he said, he, he got killed before Frenny Frenny, like after 2017, before Frenny Frenny. Um, he died like my other son, Speaker Knockers. Okay, she got something to do with it though, okay? Some regarding the car, he, you know how, I'm gonna tell you about all them people that be, they be finding in the cars dead. Well, that's that what he is. That's one, one of his bodies is in the car. Cause he made this video, like my son Speaker Knocker did, telling a story. I'm going to put it in the description as well. It's 30 minutes long, like my son Speaker Knocker was. And I guess he was showing some images that he was not supposed to show. Okay? Um, we, I didn't know about it until now. Okay? I found it like a week ago. I found it like last week. Um, when I was doing research to find out, find the people I'm going to do for today. Okay, so I found a video. So I'm going to put it in the description for well, for real. And we finally caught her. I mean, I've been seeing it on on, the, on my community board. I've been seeing it on on TV or whatever. And um, on my son Kenyon's birthday, my sons went and found her. She was in my grandma's house. She was in grandma's house. Sleep. So we had to grab her out. She didn't even know that her own people put her on TV about this case, okay? And they even tried to frame my sons for his murder. So we all finna get that cleared up. Okay, I don't know why I say shooting father of her child. So, some we're going, she had to get him out the picture for something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you gonna see in the video, some we're going that, okay? So she, I think she is in the video. Like she's like in the first story in the video. A decap county woman would spend a decade in prison and house arrest for the deadly shooting of the father of one of her children while the kids was in her home. So I guess she thought she was going to live in Grandma's house. That's a negative. On August the 25th, a decap county jury found 30-year-old Quanisha Nicole Johnson guilty of, ma of voluntary manslaughter, two counts of aggravated assault, family violence, Two counts of third degree cruelty to children and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. She also killed her mother. I made a video about her mother. I gotta find it though. And hopefully I can find it and put it in here. Okay. The charges stem from an incident on November the 27th, 2022, when Johnson called 911 to ask police to escort her to her home on Edenberry Lane. According to evidence in court, Johnson had left her three children with 29-year-old Damonte Smith, the father of her youngest child, the night before while she and her friends went clubbing. When she didn't come home, Smith tried to call her and contacted her family who began calling local jails and hospitals and they searched to find her. True. The morning of the shooting, officials say Johnson spoke to Smith on the phone who allegedly threatened to hit her when she got home, causing her to call for an escort. When Johnson arrived at the house, she got into a heated argument with Johnson in front of her police escort. Okay, so we're going to Leash. Okay, so she worked with Mo Leash, okay, or she voluntarily worked with him. Officers say the officer sent the pair inside the house to try and calm down. As she walked inside, Johnson reportedly asked the officers what would happen if she shot Smith in self-defense, telling them she had researched Georgia's self-defense law. A short time later, the, 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 the DeKalb County woman went back to her car, grabbed a tire iron and a gun, and told one of her children to call 911 because Smith allegedly hit her. Officials say she then hit the man in the head with a tire iron and shot him. That's only going to that, that, that story, too. I think she, they did that in the story. On the 911 call, officials say the gunshot could be heard as well as Johnson's repeatedly saying bye. After the shooting, Smith ran outside telling the officers before he collapsed, she hit me in the head with a metal thing and then shot me. Yeah, a sword. Okay, one of them swords, okay? Hurry before I die. He then he did not survive his injuries. 
While Christian E. Johnson at DeKalb County Police Headquarters, the woman confessed that Smith has not hit her that day. Investigators also learned that Smith had requested a ride share and died before it was scheduled to arrive at the home. After the jury found Johnson guilty, a superior court judge sentenced her to five years in prison and five more under house arrest, followed by 10 years on probation. Johnson remains out of prison on house arrest, pending her appeal of the conviction. Okay, she finally live in my grandma's house, but that's a negative. Like I said, she is guilty of the crime. Okay, so yes, we got other people on it, but yes, okay. Yep, they saying guilty. So you like to hear more into this case? You can. I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And to the real families of these victims, corporate America will set y'all up. Thank y'all. Peace and be safe.